Hi, welcome to a Malcolm's Basement tutorial for beginners on Logic Pro 9. Okay, to begin, this is your arrangement window. This is where you arrange all of your tracks that you've made and yeah. Okay, so to add a track, you go up to this button up here and it will give you three options. You can add an audio track, so that's external sounds like microphones. It can you can select a software instrument or external MIDI such as Ableton Live through we Rewire or Reason. So go ahead and select software instrument. Make sure it's on your main outputs and create. To add an instrument to your channel, you can go up here and select an instrument. So if you want strings, you just click it, and now I'll be playing something through my keyboard. You can also play through the computer keyboard by clicking the caps lock key, and it brings up this little keyboard here, and you can play it from your keys. So that's also useful if you don't have a MIDI keyboard. Okay, so now I'm going to explain this area here. This is the where you control your effects here, your sends, so what buses you send to, and your instrument or your input. So let's go and just reset this channel strip. Okay, so now you have a blank channel strip, so you no longer have an instrument. You can add an instrument through here, so I'll pick the drum synth and now it's added and I can play it to add effects to this slot you can go up here and click and you have equalizers compressors all these good things um, so if I want to add an EQ I can go here and hit the analyzer and I can see the kick drum so I could boost that. And so that's where you can control the effects. Um, you can bypass up here and it will shut it off down here or you can hold alt and click it down there. So that's some of the effects. So to record you can go down here to the record button on the transport controls or you can hit R on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and record a quick little drum sequence. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now if you double click on this area here, it'll bring up the piano roll editor. You can see that these aren't on beat, so a way to fix this is you can select all of them or section and quantize them from up here and it snaps them into place or you can go up to this make sure you have it selected and quantize from up here so that will quantize everything so that makes it on the beat and it snapped them to place now so now it's on beat so now it sounds like this so that's much better um okay so now let's look at the mixer. This is where you control all the volumes and effects channels of everything. This is just a small view of one channel of the mixer and the stereo output, which is here. So you can control all the faders of your volume and all the effects. Um, here's just a few things. To copy effect, an effect to another channel, hold Alt and Command and just drag it across. Now you'll have that same effect on the other channel with the same um, presets on it. Okay. Uh, right. The mute buttons are on the channels up here, and the solo button for that is up there. You can also select them down here. And now we'll look at automation. So if you want to automate, which is controlling the parameters here, so let's open a reverb. So now if I play it back, you'll hear that. 
So if I want to have that gradually come in, you just hit the automation tab up here, and it will be on default by volume, but if I click it, it will show me automations from the plugin that you have on and all the other effects that you have on it. So I want to go to the mix, click that, and it's at zero because I have set it at zero here before. And you can click a point here, and there's one already there. Drag it up to that, and now you'll gradually hear an increase in the reverb. So here's a little demo. So that's cool. You can do cool stuff with cutoff, such as this, single band, high, low cut filter, and then go to this one here, frequency. Now I can have it gently increase. So if I unmute the space track that I made and play it back, this is what it will sound like. So that's also kind of cool. Okay, so now if you want to add a loop, which comes with logic, you can go up to the Apple Loops tab up on here. Make sure you have your media open by clicking up here. Then you can select from a menu of many different things, such as guitars. If you want to add that, you just click it and it will play automatically. And hit spacebar to stop them and you can search through them and hit the spacebar to play them. Say you like one, you can pull it down to the mix and it will automatically add it on its own channel. Okay, so just delete that. If you have your own samples that you want to use, then you can search through your browser, and it's just like searching through the finder, but through logic. So I have mine already in a certain folder on my computer, so I'll go to them, and I have them all here. So if I want to add, say, something from my own, I can go up here and just play them. and you can drag them down too. Kind of a nice opening for a track. To loop your tracks, you can drag the mouse and it will open a little section and that will just loop that. So if you're focusing on something, you can do a one bar loop and it loops the area. You can turn that on through here and off. To control the metronome settings, you just uh, right click it and you can tell it to click while recording or not click and yeah the tempo of the track is down here you can put it up pretty fast or you can put it really slow and that's about everything you need to know to get started in logic right uh, if you want to bounce something to track to in place as an audio file you just say bounce in the place and you can have the effects on or off. Click OK. And then it bounces it as a WAV file. And it mutes the other track. So this is good if you're um, running low on CPU and you don't want to use up the channel to you know, waste CPU. So it just has it as a waveform. When you're done your project and you want to export it, you go to the bounce down on the stereo output, click it. This window will come up. You can bounce it to MP3 or a high quality AIF file. Um, and then you just click where you want to, what the name is. So say test. And then offline or real time. Select offline if you don't want to hear it. And you can change the sample rates and other settings here. So if you bounce it, then it bounces it there. You can find your bounce project in the spotlight and it will be the most recent bounced file. Okay, so that's pretty much the main parts of Logic. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, hopefully we'll have one next week for you.